Without housing or consistent access to health services, LA County's homeless population is especially vulnerable to COVID-19. Officials are using a variety of approaches to help them during this crisis. And joining us now to talk about these efforts is Cherie Totteroff with LA County's Department of Health Services. Good morning. Good morning, Cherie. Good morning. So can you tell us what the county is doing to provide access to COVID-19 testing for homeless people? Yeah, you know, as you mentioned, people experiencing homelessness are especially high risk of COVID spread. And also because so many are older adults or have underlying medical conditions, they're at really high risk for a poor outcome if they do catch it. So what we did is very quickly here in LA County, we implemented several COVID testing and response programs to try and prevent that spread. And I'm happy to report that we've been largely successful. The rates have stayed low among people experiencing homelessness. Shuri, do we know what percentage of homeless people uh, have been infected? Well, what we have found with our testing is about 2.2% of our test results are coming back positive for people experiencing homelessness. That compares to about 10% for people countywide. And if a homeless person in an encampment becomes infected, what is the protocol right now? Yeah, you know, one of the first things we did was we implemented COVID response teams. We now have 23 teams. They're going out seven days a week. They're going to shelters and encampments. And what they're doing is helping with infection control and with testing and with getting people into isolation or quarantine sites if they are infected. Um, and so what we do as quickly as possible, if we do identify somebody who's infected or who um, has symptoms, is we refer them to one of our medical shelter sites, also known as an isolation or quarantine site. And there they get support, they get medical treatment, um, and they're able to stay there um, for as long as they need to stay until they're no longer infectious. That is so good to know because I think yes. about them all the time, especially when you're driving by. Uh, what are the options for shelter? Are there enough beds for homeless people who need the extra care? You know what? We definitely need more shelter beds, but we have done a lot during this crisis and even before that. For Measure H, we've been increasing the number of shelter beds for the last couple of years with that quarter cent sales tax that we have here in LA County. But on top of that, during this COVID crisis, um, we have added many more shelter beds. For example, um, over 4,000 beds have been added in hotels and motels through Project Room Key, which are specifically designed to support clients experiencing homelessness who are at high risk for COVID. All right, Tari, thank you so much for all that you do. And you know what I'm about to say. You are always mm -hmm. welcome back to CBS News this morning. It's good having you all.